Travel back to 1971 with a classic western flick that promises a roller coaster of emotions, Big Jake. As you dive into this cinematic gem, keep your eyes peeled for the upcoming funny, shocking, and even somber facts that will add a new layer to your viewing experience. Have you ever stumbled upon lesser known anecdotes about this movie that left you intrigued? Or perhaps, when was the first time you witnessed the gripping tale unfold on the screen? Share your thoughts in the comments below as we would love to hear your stories and memories related to this movie. Your special moments could be the missing piece to unraveling the Big Jake puzzle. So sit back, relax, and get ready for a journey filled with surprises. The story goes beyond what meets the eye, and the hidden gems are waiting to be unveiled. Your experience with the movie is about to get a whole lot richer. In 1971, a classic western film called Big Jake hit the screens, making a big impression in the genre. It's set in the Wild West, known for its rough terrain and lawlessness. The story follows a family dealing with trouble after their grandson gets kidnapped. The main character, Jake McCandles, played by the famous John Wayne, is a retired father who's become distant from his family. When his son's family faces danger from a gang led by outlaw John Fane, they turn to Jake for help. Reluctantly, he sets out on a risky journey to rescue his grandson. The movie tells a gripping story about redemption, family ties, and seeking justice in a tough frontier. Jake's determination shines as he faces dangers from both outside threats and his own past. Big Jake isn't just about its story, it also paints a vivid picture of the Old West. The dusty landscapes, old towns, and intense gunfights make you feel like you're right there in that time. The film got praised for its powerful story and great acting, especially John Wayne's performance as Big Jake. While it's had some controversy, Big Jake shows why westerns still capture people's imaginations, earning its place in movie history. In the final scenes, they ride off, showing no regard for Sam Sharpnose's demise or his body, along with the dog. When Burt Ryan, the ranch foreman, claims he's 42 and fought in the Lincoln County War, there's a mix-up. The Lincoln County War occurred 31 years before the film's setting, making it improbable for him to have participated at 11 years old. Moreover, the distance between the McCandles Ranch and Lincoln, New Mexico, cast doubt on Ryan's description of the ranch as nearby. John Wayne was offered Kirk Douglas' role in the big sky, but was unavailable. In 1964, he had an operation to remove a cancerous lung caused by his heavy smoking. Despite some problems, he bravely faced it, saying he beat the illness. This was a big moment for him, showing how determined he was to live fully. Then, in 1971, he acted in a movie with his son, which was special because they both worked together. It was also his last film with another actor he had a fight with because they disagreed on things. Even though they tried to make up, their relationship stayed tense until the end. The movie shows how tough he was and how complicated relationships can be, leaving a lasting impression on everyone involved. In the late 1800s, there was a popular novel called Buffalo Bill King of the Border Man, written by Nat Buntline. It was published in parts in New York Weekly from December 23, 1869. This novel had a big impact on literature. The dog in the movie was trained by Weatherwax Kennels. They are well known for training dogs, especially ones related to Lassie. In one scene, the dog's black hair gradually fades. Jeff Bridges said no to playing Michael McCandles in the movie. This affected who got chosen for the roles in the film. So, Big Jake mixes ideas from an important old novel and has a dog trained by a famous kennel. Jeff Bridges' choice also influenced the movie's casting. This makes the story of this classic western movie more interesting. In the movie, the main character wields a greener shotgun, which he also uses in another film, Cahill U.S. Marshall. Interestingly, these shotguns were made by the American Gun Company. Among the members of Fane's gang, only a few have audible dialogue. The rest communicate through grunts and mumbles. Initially, the film was titled The Million Dollar Kidnapping. However, as production progressed, the title evolved into the now famous Big Jake. This change reflected not only the central character's importance, but also the grand scale of the story. Throughout the movie, he faces a dangerous journey full of challenges and tough choices, showing both his strength and compassion. The greener shotgun becomes a symbol of justice in his capable hands. The dynamic between him and his adversaries, particularly Fane's gang, adds tension and excitement to the story. As the plot unfolds, we see thrilling action scenes and moments of deep reflection, highlighting the complexities of human nature. In the end, he emerges victorious, but not without sacrifices and losses. It's a story of redemption and resilience crafted to captivate audiences for years to come. 
And so, the legend of Big Jake lives on, immortalized on the silver screen for all to enjoy. In the movie, two collies, trained by Robert Weatherwax and Rudd Weatherwax, played dog, Big Jake's faithful companion Silver, and Laddie for the stunts. Laddie won a Patsy Award for his performance. John Wayne worked with Robert Mitchum's youngest son, Christopher Mitchum, in three films, including this one. Wayne intended on Christopher becoming part of his regular stock company of supporting actors, but fell out with him in 1973 over politics. Wayne was concerned by the violence in the film and insisted on adding plenty of comedy, though many critics felt it was excessive. In one scene of the opening sequence, four outlaws lie dead with labels over their heads Jim Evans, Bob Dalton, Grat Dalton, and Dick Broadwell. These individuals were part of the ill-fated Dalton gang, involved in a failed raid on two banks in Coffeyville, Kansas. During the ambush by town citizens, Bob Dalton, along with Bill Power, Grat Dalton, and Dick Broadwell, met their demise. Bruce Cabot's role in this film marked his final appearance in a John Wayne feature before his passing in 1972. Maureen O'Hara, who appeared in five films alongside John Wayne, portrayed his estranged wife in each of them, with their relationship dynamics explored under different directors. Directed by John Ford, their collaborations included Rio Grande, The Quiet Man, and The Wings of Eagles showcasing their on-screen chemistry. In Big Jake, their character's tumultuous relationship adds depth to the narrative, contributing to the film's intrigue and emotional resonance. In a memorable scene, John Wayne discovers his son's ruse of playing dead after a motorcycle mishap. Reacting to the prank, he delivers two punches, each met with the sound of a camera capturing the moment. Originally, the film received a GP rating upon release in 1971, later transitioning to a G rating in 1972. However, due to concerns over its content for younger audiences, it was reclassified as PG-13 in 2001, reflecting its depiction of Western violence. Director George Sherman, a longtime friend of John Wayne, faced challenges during filming in Mexico due to his declining health. On days when Sherman was unable to direct, Wayne stepped in, yet insisted on Sherman receiving sole credit for his directorial work. In a memorable scene from the 1971 film, during the shotgun selection, Bruce Cabot, alongside John Wayne, does a stereotypical Indian gesture, saying eyes no good with a thin accent. Interestingly, Cabot's accent mysteriously disappears for the rest of the movie after this scene. John Wayne, a famous actor, has left a strong impression with his presence in nine films honored by the National Film Registry. These movies like The Big Trail Stagecoach and The Searchers are recognized for their cultural, historical, or artistic significance. John Doucette, a familiar face in John Wayne movies, played supporting roles in several, such as The Sea Chase and True Grit, notably appearing in Big Jake. The interaction between these experienced actors and Big Jake adds a sense of familiarity for those who know John Wayne's movies. Each brings their own touch to the story, creating a compelling western tale that stands out among the important works of its time. In the realm of classic cinema, these individuals, both collectively and individually, have secured their places, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. Their contributions seamlessly integrated into the history of cinema speak to their talent and the mark they've made.